Although I'm best known as a poet and a theoretician and the founder of UberWeb, I am presenting another aspect of what I do, which is more visual works and more artist books. This is a survey of printing out the internet, the Hillary Clinton emails, and two new books, one called I Declare a Permanent State of Happiness, and another entitled Peels that is based on Guy Debord and Asker Yorn's memoirs. Noi siamo Francesco Urbano Ragazzi, un unico, un unico gruppo curatoriale, un'entità, e il nostro progetto, un progetto curatoriale, si sviluppa in, in, in spazi spesso non convenzionali, oltre che in spazi istituzionali, secondo l'idea che l'arte in qualche maniera è l'istituzione, prima ancora dell'istituzione. E a partire da questo presupposto, in qualche maniera, il ready made è sempre stato, un, un, come dire, l'oggetto delle avanguardie in poi di quello che è stato lo sviluppo dell'arte contemporanea, ma è per noi un oggetto ancora molto aperto e in particolare Kenneth Gosmith è l'autore eh, l'autore non creativo come lui si definirebbe che ha aperto il ready made a una dimensione letteraria non solo Kenneth Gosmith porta il ready made eh, all'interno della letteratura ma lo declina eh, per il mondo digitale per il mondo eh, post internet eh, dove appunto il copiare il diffondere il diffondere all'infinito è molto più importante di creare qualcosa di nuovo e di unico. So I'm going to start with this uh, project from 2013 called Printing Out the Internet, uh, in which I put a call out to everyone in the world to print some internet and send it to a gallery in Mexico City. And I figured if everybody in the world printed out just a little bit, we could print the entire internet. Ever since I heard about Hillary Clinton emails, I wanted to print them. I thought it was great. It would go with my printing out the internet. And Donald Trump kept saying, where's those emails? Get me those emails, you know? And of course, anybody knew that those emails were available not only on WikiLeaks, but also available on US uh, government servers. You could only get them one at a time. Gabriel managed to track down all 33,000, and we printed uh, 62, about 62,000 sheets. Now, 62,000 sheets of paper is not impressive. But when you have no idea what 62,000 sheets of paper is, as Donald Trump did, you could make it anything you want. Donald Trump made this innocuous little pile of paper into a nightmare, into a, into a monster. I thought we have to look at it in order to um, understand it, material it, you know, feel it. Therefore, when you materialize something, the fear goes away. There was nothing in these emails. Questa sera sì, celebriamo la, la fine di una mostra mediatica che è stata appunto Hillary di Alkington Emails di Kenneth Goldsmith. Abbiamo quindi disegnato la mostra immaginando una casa bianca su questa balconata di un supermercato. One day, this woman comes into the Teatro Italia at Despar and she says to one of the guards that's standing there, she says, would it be possible next Tuesday for Secretary Clinton to come visit the exhibition? And the next Tuesday, in fact, Hillary Clinton showed up there. It was as if I had made a stage set and the actress arrived. And there she is looking at her own emails on a copy of the Resolute Desk. Hillary spent an hour reading her own emails. Okay. So, change direction now. So I got an um, invitation from a, um, uh, a book uh, publisher in London who sends authors um, a list of titles, and they say, pick a title. And um, I picked uh, Wittgenstein's Tractatus. And they send you proofs. And what you do is you, at, you read them, and you write in the, in the margins, right? Because I'm supposed to know something about this. And then they publish the book with your annotations. It's kind of a cool idea.
So I decided I would take that on and see what I could come up with. So I'm just going to flip through these pages. And I really got so into it that I began kind of doing the um, marginal work, but then I started doing drawing. And I did go to art school, but I haven't drawn in 20 years. So I just started looking at things. And, 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 and the thing about Wittgenstein that's so great is that every page is so rich that you can always look at something and go somewhere else. As I said, I'm interested in making that which can't be seen visible. Sometimes it's with the words I speak, the movements my body make, and the internet is just full of things that appear to be visible but are really ephemeral. And, you know, I'm, I was trained as a sculptor. I'm interested in materiality. My approach as a writer was always to treat language as material. I'm a sculptor, really. Hey.